All right, what I'd like to show you guys how to do is how to simplify complex numbers. Um, here we're given kind of two expressions to go ahead and simplify. The one important thing which we have to remember when we're dealing with imaginary numbers is you can never take the square root of a negative number because no two um, numbers equal, no two <coughs> negative or positive numbers equal a negative number. So what we have to do to alleviate our kind of problems that we take that our negative sign and we actually take it out of our um, our root and we give it the term of i, which means for imaginary. So uh, first of all, I'm just going to take out the negative sign for each one of these equations. Let me go and write that. Sorry. When I take out the negative sign, it's going to become 3i square root 2 plus 2i square root of 8. Now, I have to go and take a nice little flashback and look back into how do I simplify my radicals. And the way that we simplify radicals is we find the greatest square number that goes that goes into our radical, and we can go ahead and take that out. So if I was going to do do a square root of 8, I can break up the square root of 8 into the square root of 4 times 2. And then I know that I now I can take out the square root of 4 because that's going to equal 2. So my answer to this would be 2 square root of 2. So now I have 3i square root of 2 plus, now if I'm going to change this to 2 square root of 2, actually let me write it out, 2i times 2 square root of 2. I now can multiply these numbers, the 2s, 3i square root of 2 plus 4i square root of 2. It says now to add, so it becomes 7i, uh, 7i plus, and since my roots are exactly the same, I can combine those as well. So the final answer would be 7i times, times the square root of 2. Over here, again, I'm going to do the exact same operation. I'm going to take out my negative and make it an i, so 2i times square root of 64 minus um, <clears throat> 3i square root of 121. Here I'm a little bit lucky. I noticed that these are both square numbers, so I can simply just go ahead and take the square root. Um, square root of 64 becomes 8 minus 121 is 11. And I'm just showing you, you can easily do this multiplication right here, and I'm just showing you just so you guys can see it step by step. 2 times 8 becomes 16i minus 33i. 33i. All right, and then you'll get a uh, negative 17i. Okay, so that's how you simplify complex numbers.